At Mueller Company, we hope this training video will aid you in the use of the B101 drilling and tapping machine. This instructional video is only to be used as a training aid. It is not intended as a replacement for the operating instructions or repair manuals. The first step is to clean the main at the point of installation. Place the cast iron saddle and the saddle gaskets together. Now, set the saddle on the main. Then, place the small saddle gasket in the recess on the top of the cast iron saddle. Now, take the lower section of the machine and set it on the top of the saddle. On the side of the machine is a lever to operate the flop valve. Start with it locked in the open position. Now, turn the machine so that the chain hooks face the sides of the main. Do the same thing on the other side and tighten the chain nuts until they're just snug. Wrap the chain around the pipe, hooking one link vertically and one link horizontally to minimize stress on the chain fork. The weld on the end link should face upward. Do the same thing on the other side and tighten the chain nuts until they're just snug. Do not tighten chain hook nuts after starting to drill, as it will throw the machine out of alignment. Slide the machine to a 45 degree angle for a copper service or down to a 90 degree angle for a plastic service. Use the wrench to tighten the chain nuts until they feel very snug. The bypass relief valve should be pointed down so that the water flows downward when the bypass valve is moved to the relief position. Tap the chain to remove any kinks so each link makes contact with the pipe. Then, continue to tighten until the machine is secure on the main. Make sure the bypass valve is in the relief position and fill the machine with water. Once water flows from the bypass relief valve, move the bypass valve to the bypass position. Now, insert the combined drill and tap into the end of the boring bar making sure the roll pin on the tool is fully engaged in the slots on the end of the boring bar. Strike tool on drill end with a block of wood to be sure it fits tightly in the socket. Tighten the retaining screw and apply Mueller cutting grease to the combined drill and tab, covering both the drill portion and the threaded portion of the tool, so the chips are less likely to collect and bind the tap which could cause breakage, wipe the grease from the flutes. Retract the boring bar by pulling up on the bearing end of the bar and attach the upper section of the machine to the upper chamber. Tighten the feed cap and lower the boring bar down very carefully until the drill point hits the main. Attach the yoke assembly and engage the locking mechanism. Then take the ratchet handle and place it on the square of the boring bar. Now ratchet and feed evenly in a clockwise direction. It's very important that the ratchet and feed action be done evenly, without overfeeding the yoke assembly which could bind and damage the tool. Continue the drilling operation until the boring bar feeds easily and rotates easily, indicating the drill portion of the tool is through the pipe. Continue rotating the feed yoke until the tap is securely started into the main. At this point, the feed yoke is no longer needed and is removed. Continue tapping operation until the tapping line of the boring bar is flush with the top of the feed sleeve part of the cap. If drilling by hand without a power operator, before backing the tool out of the main, it is essential to re-engage the yoke assembly to the boring bar and use it to control upward movement against line pressure, removing it only to allow the tapping tool to clear the flop valve. Extend the boring bar. With the boring bar in its uppermost position, close the flop valve and then pull the bypass valve to relieve pressure. Now, remove the upper section of the machine. Loosen the retaining screw and strike the knockout pins so the tool falls out into the hand, not onto a hard surface which could damage the tool. Then, attach the easy release inserting tool to the outlet end. Insert this assembly into the end of the boring bar, making sure the roll pin is fully engaged by the slots in the end of the boring bar 
and tighten the retaining screw. Apply non-hardening pipe sealant or Teflon tape to the inlet threads of the corporation valve. Be sure to close the corporation stop before inserting. Attach the upper section of the machine to the lower section and tighten the feet cap. Push the bypass relief valve to the bypass position so the flop valve will open easily. Open the flop valve and lock it in the open position. Place the ratchet handle on the square of the boring bar so it will turn clockwise. Push down on the ratchet handle until the yoke assembly can be engaged over the thrust collar. Then run the corporation valve down to the top of the main. Now begin to ratchet, inserting the corporation valve into the main. Once the corporation valve threads have caught in the main, flip the yoke assembly out of the way and continue to insert the valve into the main. At this point, pull the bypass relief valve to the relief position which will expel all the water pressure in the upper portion of this machine and will show if the corporation valve is in the main securely. If water continues to leak, continue to ratchet until the corporation valve is tight in the main. Now, turn the ratchet handle to the reverse position. Give it a bump and separate the inserting tool. You can now remove the ratchet handle. Using the wrench, remove the chain. Then, remove the lower section of the machine and the saddle. Use the Easy Release Screw Plug Wrench to remove the lower cap. The service line can now be connected. This concludes this training video on the B101 Drilling and Tapping Machine, one of a continuing series of training and instructional videos from Mueller Company.